Trav, the new M. Light Shyamalan movie. Love it, hate it, I'll tell you all about it. Here's my full review. As you can see, I'm not in my normal studio today. I'm out doing some things, traveling. But um, I wanted to get this review for Trap in, so let's go. Trap is a new thriller movie from director M. Night Shyamalan, starring Josh Harnett. Do we love Josh Harnett? Yes, we do. So, what was this film all about? And how do I feel about it? The movie's about a serial killer taking his daughter to a concert and the police and the FBI are looking for him while he's there. So they're surrounding the stadium looking for the killer who they don't know exactly who he is, but they have an idea. And this is where everything takes place for most of the film. Josh Arnett playing the lead in The Serial Killer gives an amazing performance in this film. The film mostly follows him, so we see everything from the killer's perspective. And I think he just does a great job of seeming like a wonderful father, and on the other hand, a psycho killer. It comes off very well. His acting is, is so amazing. I'm glad to see him doing movies again. And I really liked his performance. A bulk of the film actually takes place during the concert, which is fairly a new concept. It's like we're getting a thriller film, and we're also seeing what it's like to live out our dreams of being at Taylor Swift or Beyonce's concert. Or at least that's how I imagine it would be. I've never been to one. The concert star, Lady Raven, is actually M. Night Shyamalan's daughter. Yeah, he might be competing with LeBron for the biggest celebrity nepotism play of the year, but I'm not really mad at it. I would give my kids everything I could if I had it, right? And that's not to say, like Bronnie James, she has some type of talent. She actually does perform decent music. And when I say decent, I actually mean pretty good. In this film, I actually wanted to go and hear her music because she is an actual musician. And I wanted to hear more of her music. It came off great. Her performances on stage, it seemed very natural. It seemed like it was her thing. I could tell she had some type of musical background and it worked really well in the film. Thousands of screaming girls all across the stadium, which looked like actual extras and not CGI. And it looked like a fun time. It looked like an actual concert was being performed that they just happened to record. And then they focused some time on a serial killer. Salika also does some acting in this film, which is pretty good also. I'm not saying she's top tier actress at the moment, but she is really good. And I liked her performance a lot. And knowing she also wrote and produced this music as well as singing and performing on stage, I would say she's actually a really great talent. And I can't wait to see more of her. The movie progresses with Harnett trying to find ways not to get caught while also trying to not look too suspicious at his daughter who's attending the concert. I think it does a real good job of creating suspense with everything, how he moves through the concert and creates these issues to try to take the attention off of him and possibly find a way out. I really do give this movie credit for not just being generic and cliche and actually getting to a point where he realizes he's not going to get out of this where no matter how smart he is and how crafty and all the things that he does to distract people and possibly find a way out, it all ends in a dead end. And eventually he's going to be caught. And I think this movie does a good job with that because it's something that you don't usually see. Sometimes movies just have so much plot armor that the main characters can do anything. And it's just like, Oh my gosh, that's not to say that the movie doesn't have some things where you have to suspend your belief system completely. I mean, some of the things that transpired after the concert, I'm going to be honest, the third act in the film was not my favorite. It kind of winded down from there. After the concert scenes, it was just a lot of things that I thought were unnecessary. And the movie probably could have just filtered everything off a little smoother. I'm not a big fan of the third act of the film, but I do give it credit for trying to be different. I also credit them for having Kid Cudi, who seems to really be taking his acting career serious now. I just seen him in the Knuckles series. I seen him here. His character was a bit confusing to me. I don't know if he was trying to be like some type of Prince-esque. I don't really know. And his character kind of had weird interactions. I don't think he was the best written character, believe me, but the stage performance was good. But I probably could have cut him from the film world together, to be honest. They also had an appearance from the rapper Russ. If people don't know who he is, he's kind of in the underground circuit. He's not really in the mainstream. Uh, he does a lot of independent things and he talks about the music industry a lot in his personal life. I was glad to see him in the movie and actually see someone give him some lime. Like, while I didn't really love the third act and the ending of the film, and in its totality, I'll probably have to give it a rating of five generally, which is just the halfway mark. It's good, it's passable, but I want to give it an extra point because of the chances. M. Night Shyamalan takes a lot of chances with his films. He has amazingly different and wonderful concepts. I know some people argue and they say, oh, some of them do this or this is not really original or we don't want the originality, but 
how many times am I going to watch James Bond or James Bond-like characters do the same espionage all and over or a cop story where someone gets kidnapped and they have to find out about the underworld? Like, we have enough of those. We have enough of those from everywhere, from streaming services to big budget. And it's just good to have something that just touches a little something different. So I really want to give this film some credit for that. So I'm going to bump my score up to a six just off of that alone because... Shyamalan, he tends to do that. There was no classic Shyamalan twist at the end of this one. It was a pretty straightforward film. But yeah, guys like him, uh, Jordan Peele, J.J. Abrams, and even to a certain extent, Quentin Tarantino, they like to take big swings and chances. And sometimes they pay off and sometimes they don't. This is more commentary about how I feel about the movie industry. I mean, when you think about it, Star Wars was probably like a radical idea at the time when it came out. And you don't get the next Star Wars by copying Star Wars. You get the next Star Wars by breaking new ground and doing something new. And without films like this, we're never going to break any more new ground. We're just going to get rehashes of the same things. And I know that's not a great point for some people and they say, well, just make great movies, but we don't know what's going to be great. So I give Shyamalan credit for this. He has wonderful ideas. Like I said, sometimes the execution is not to my liking. Maybe it is to someone else's, but I probably would have did something different with the end of this film or feel like there could have been a little more eef in the end of it. But overall, six out of 10 isn't really that bad. Great acting from Josh Harnett, uh, great performance from Salika uh, uh, Shyamalan, and the visuals of the film look good. I felt the presence, the concert felt like a concert. When I was in the theater, I felt like I was there. Uh, that was just the things that were great about it. And like I said, the things that I didn't love, the ending, the third act kind of dribbled off to me and, and they could have just maybe shortened the film or did something else with it. But that's my full take on Trap from M. Night Shyamalan. I'm sure you guys have all different variations of how you feel about the film, but you can tell me about it respectfully in the comments and we can discuss. That's what we do here, talk about movies. Sport Gisdale and I'm out.